Judge Knight, they're in Liberty County, along with any or all commissioners that have found themselves all tied up in a lot of mess they can't get themselves out of, need to resign their positions immediately. I've been doing some research on how can someone remove an elected official if that person is in fact needs to be removed. And I run across one of the very first things it talked about was the incompetence of that official. Let me show you something. Anybody can come in here and claim anything but without some uh it make accusations, but I have seen no evidence that I need to say, I need to say something specific. <laughs> and this guy over here is trying to clean up and help out the best he can. And this is Liberty County. Hey, man, what would you say real fast? I'm sorry to put you on the spot. What would you say to a commissioner that says, show him proof that we have a flooding issue? Here it is. Here it is. This is embarrassing, Liberty County, that this man's home is flooding. And Liberty County says, uh, show us some proof. Well, here you go. rocky branch that mother nature created this is the rocky branch that was here long before the development long before tractors and bulldozers and and this here this is what rocky branch has become yeah so this is what happens to a small branch or a creek when you add all that volume of water to it, it turns into a destructive force. Land developers do what land developers do. You don't have to like the people, but they are businessmen. They come in, they buy up land at rock bottom prices. They develop it and then they sell it and make money for their companies. Now that goes on in every town across this great country of ours. But we're supposed to have a system of checks and balances. Liberty County, in this instance, who should have looked at the paperwork, looked at the studies, demanded certain things be met. But here's the problem with Judge Knight and many of our commissioners. They're not attorneys. You don't have to have an attorney's a law degree to be a judge or a JP in Texas, and they're just normal guys like you and me. And this developer walks in with these nice, pretty maps and probably a thick stack of papers. And these guys don't know what they're looking at. Sorry, I'm not trying to call you dumb. I'm just saying that you don't know what you're looking at. And so as to appear as though you know what you're doing, you just sign it. And then look what happens. Yeah, cars can't be coming through here. It's too swift for vehicles. Oh yeah, no, this is too deep. This is too deep for vehicles. 
I'm going to open the pastures and let the animals out. Water's up too deep to get past it. I can see cars way, way up ahead trying to make their way in or out. Guess what this guy just spent about $20,000 on? $20,000, which was probably his life savings. Little did he know he was gonna have <laughs> lakefront property. I bet no one ever told these poor folks who have probably spent their entire life savings on a piece of property that they're buying land that actually used to be a natural retention pond. Let me show you why I have such high anxiety issues every time it starts to rain. Somebody needs to say, let's pause. Let's fix what we have before we make it. Did y'all hear what the fella said? The reporter says, why don't we just pause? Why don't we just pause and look at what we have and fix it before we move forward? Why don't we just take a break for a moment? Just, just we're not trying to stop your development. Just let's take a break and fix what we have and then we'll move forward. That's all. That's all he asked. But what did Judge Knight and Liberty County do? Liberty <laughs> County commissioners on the agenda, even more subdivision. All in favor say aye. Aye. Likewise, nays. Nay. Okay. And that motion does pass. Guys, they're not going to slow down. They're not going to stop. You have no idea how deep the connections run, the relationships that exist between representatives and congressmen. You say, Lester, why don't you go over his head? Why don't you go ahead and just go right over Judge Knight's head? Go to Ernest Bell's. He seemed like a good old boy. He might come down there to help y'all. He's your state rep. Come to find out, you can't go to your state rep. You can't go to your senator because guess what? They also have ties and relationships and accept campaign contributions from contractors. Contractors in that same community. Let me just slow it down a little bit. I'm getting myself all worked up here. Can you not see that all of these folks are in cahoots? Allegedly in cahoots with one another? We need one of those big wall maps that have those little design things drawn all over it because this is... There's nothing shameful and you don't have to make it about pride. You know, I remember a Plum Grove City Council mayor not too long ago that found themselves in over their heads. They found themselves all caught up in some mess they didn't really understand. And so instead of sitting there trying to do what you're doing and weaseling yourself out of it, trying to point fingers of blame towards everyone else except for yourself, guess what they did? They up and resigned and they let other folks come in who could hopefully have maybe a little bit more know-how who could help solve these problems. Even people in the development and the subdivision are on Facebook begging for help. 
The unfortunate thing is those guys don't have much of a voice. And I think that Liberty County and all of the state reps, the congressmen, the senators, I think they know it. All right, so this is something from some guy who lives out in the colony, who invested in property, who has to pay a chunk of money to an HOA, and he says they're not doing anything that they promised. There's nothing that they're doing that fulfills their contractual obligations to these guys. And so as I stand here right now, staring out across these pastures, looking up at a very ominous sky, I can only ask myself this question of when. When will that water come across that pasture the next time? I need something definite to hang my hat on. I have a better idea. Instead of sitting on your ass there in Liberty County waiting for something to hang your hat on, why don't you get in your truck and make a drive out to Plum Grove? Hey, bring that Judge Knight there with you. I've invited him, but uh, seems like he's forgotten where I'm at. <laughs> so go ahead, Greg Arthur. Bring all those commissioners with you. Bring the entire court. Y'all get a little mini bus and come on down. Let me show you around a little bit. As a matter of fact, you hear that thunder? Why don't you come today? Why don't you come today? So what I think you all should do, and this is just Lester and his opinion. Why don't all of you guys, why don't you all just hang your hats up and walk away from this? Why don't you realize that you've crawled in bed with the wrong guy? Which is pretty darn gross anyway. But hey, now you guess what? You can't get out of it. And now all these weird things are happening to you. Man. I have one last thing to say, and this might be the most important thing I said today. You're saying, Lester, don't go with that race card. Lester, don't you throw in that race card. You better hear this, and you better hear this good. Let's just imagine that this tabletop here is all of Liberty County. You have all these different precincts. Uh, each of these have their very own commissioner, and Judge Knight sits at the head of that table. The almighty, honorable Judge Knight. Guess what? You have this one precinct over here where a lot of your residents are non-voters. They're not allowed to vote, folks. However, they're allowed to pay taxes. And every year they pay in millions of dollars of taxes. But look what Judge Knight and his friends do. His committee of other commissioners... They all tell this guy, yeah, 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 you know what, we're going to collect your money, but you're only able to use this much of it in your precinct. Instead, they take all of the millions of the largest portion of the precinct, the one that brings in the most tax revenue, and they distribute it, distribute it amongst all the other folks in Liberty County, all the other folks that do vote that are allowed to keep Judge Knight and those commissioners. <laughs> and that's despicable. And I hope that somebody will watch dog and jump in on this. It ain't gonna be Ernest Bales. It ain't gonna be Senator Nichols. But there's somebody out there that has to realize, maybe LULAC, maybe one of these Hispanic organizations can find out exactly how much money the Hispanic population brings into this precinct and then how much Judge Knight allows them to have back. How much they invest back into all this mess that he's allowed and he's created. Judge Knight has to go. I promise you something. What you've created, what you've allowed to happen here in Plum Grove is not going away. The dominoes are about to fall. And so this goes to every single one of you. Hang up your hats and walk away and let's get someone in power who can help fix it. Let's hashtag that, y'all. Just fix it. <laughs> or walk away.